Welcome to a special edition of Taking Stock, a look at the labor market in Canada. Coming up on the show, having a good job is central to most people's well-being. So can politicians help as the economy slows? And how work will change in the years ahead? Plus, childcare is aimed at helping working parents, but are we missing the mark? That's all ahead. First, though, a look at the state of work by the numbers. There is still job growth in Canada. In August, 40,000 new jobs were created. That was double the expected number. Unfortunately, it was less than half of the new people. Driven by immigration, population growth in August was 103,000. That means the employment rate or percentage of the population, 15 and up, who have a job, fell slightly to 61.9%. Meanwhile, the unemployment rate held level at 5.5% after increases in each of May, June and July. Wages, which the central bank is watching closely, did rise again. Average hourly wages jumped 4.9% compared to a year before. One key measure of a loosening labor market, involuntary part-time employment was 18.9% up slightly from a year before. For young people, it was more pronounced, jumping to 20.6% in August from 16% a year earlier, meaning a growing number of people who want full-time work can't get it. And about 1 million people, or 5.4% of all workers, had multiple jobs in August. One third of those said the main reason was to pay for essential needs. Another third said it was to earn extra income. And 14.5% said they worked an extra job in a field they were passionate about. Meanwhile, working entirely from home is a reality for 13.6% of employees, a drop of 3.2% from last year. But 10.3% of workers, or 2.1 million Canadians, had a hybrid work arrangement in August, and that's an increase of almost 2% from August 2022. Well, the headline data suggests that the job market is still strong, but rising immigration and a growing number of people in more precarious work are wild cards if a recession should come. Monty McNaughton is Ontario's Minister of Labour. Thanks for being with us, Minister. So we hear a lot of talk about a tight labour market. Uh, from where you sit and as it pertains to what you think about it when it comes to kind of the policies you want, is it a tight market? Do you feel as though people's jobs are relatively safe? I, I do. I mean, I see uh, help wanted signs almost on every business along Main Street in our province. Um, I think one of the greatest challenges we have as a province and likely as a country uh, from an economic perspective is that there's 300,000 jobs going unfilled in Ontario. It's leading to higher prices for consumers but it's also holding back our economy from growing. So it's a, a big challenge and under the leadership of Premier Ford, we're really focused on uh, training and upskilling people to fill these jobs that are going unfilled. And a, a big focus for the government here. And of course, um, the big question will be, can we do it fast enough? Can workers pivot enough? Do you feel as though you have the right plans in place so that as jobs evolve, and we get a sense, Minister, that there might be a big evolution at some point. We think about things like AI and new technology. Are we ready for that? We are. I mean, I give Premier Ford a lot of credit. In the first couple of months during the pandemic, uh, we launched our signature training program, the Skills Development Fund, to really go out to the market and have um, unions and employers and trade associations come to us with training solutions. We've now up skilled and retrained half a million people in Ontario through 600 uh, training projects, and that's filling labour shortages uh, every day across our province. Secondly, we're really focused on using immigration strategically. So we've negotiated a new deal with the federal government for Ontario to select about 19,000 immigrants, skilled immigrants, uh, by the year 2025. And we're really focusing on bringing in immigrants that have a skilled trades background or a healthcare background. And so on that point, um, you know, Ontario is, of course, the destination, certainly the primary destination for new Canadians. Record numbers are coming. Um, and to your point, uh, they are targeted. We've got a huge uh, numbers of economic so-called immigrants. Are you managing to match them to jobs? Because the story, of course, is very familiar of credentials not being applied here. Are we actually getting those folks into the jobs that we want them in? Well, again, I'm proud to say that Ontario is leading the way. We were the first um, government in the country uh, to recognize in, uh, international credentials and eliminate the Canadian work experience uh, barrier. So we've uh, mandated that um, all of the regulatory bodies uh, by December 
have to have eliminated the Canadian worker experience requirements. So that means when a newcomer comes, they can challenge uh, the examination uh, tomorrow and uh, hopefully work in a community for uh, one of the businesses as quickly as possible. The other thing that we've done, we launched uh, a couple of years ago, something called Better Jobs Ontario. I opened that up uh, to immigrants for the first time in Ontario. All of the programming is 12 months or under. So it's about quickly uh, training, retraining and upskilling workers uh, for jobs that are actually in demand. Uh, we know in the past that governments of all different stripes have had training programs but in a lot of cases, uh, they weren't matching uh, the training to the jobs that are going unfilled. So we're really focused on this. And uh, finally, we don't have a ton of time, but uh, it feels as though, I, I, I don't even want to say pro-labor, anti-labor, but uh, labor has been very supportive, big labor, of, uh, of your government and some of your policies. Is it, is it a bit of a new era when you're raising minimum wage um, and enacting policies that big unions are backing? Well, I, I've certainly said this uh, for five years that I've been uh, the Minister of Labour, that uh, the Conservative parties are the parties of working people. The other parties have abandoned uh, workers across the province. And I think uh, in Ontario, uh, we've seen that where private sector unions are actually sitting at the table uh, with our government. We're finding common ground. I also have taken the approach that government, labour and business have to work together. We've got huge challenges uh, in Ontario and across Canada, like the labour shortages, and we really need uh, organised labour uh, to join with us, to work with us, and that's been happening in Ontario. It's really good to have you for this. We appreciate your time. Great. Thanks, Amanda. Monty McNaughton is Ontario's Labour Immigration Training and Skills Development Minister. Coming up, the kinds of jobs and how we do them could change a lot in the years ahead. We'll take a closer look.